what's good? I just wanted to hit you guys up with something. So I've been training 21 years now and um, I still love it. Absolutely love it. It's the best thing ever. It makes me feel good. Uh, that's what I'm good at. And uh, it's been lucrative and it's, made, it's, it's, it's been my career, even though that was not the goal, the intended goal when I started. You know, when I started training, it was all about the love and it still is. I've just been lucky that um, I've been managed to make businesses from it. But I just wanted to say that it, they are different, they're transitions as the years go on. So um, in the beginning, I was just an animal in the gym. I still am, but I was an absolute animal. There was no consideration taken for uh, my actual body. It was mentally, I'm a beast. I'm going to go ham on every exercise. I'm just going to kill it. And luckily, at that age, your body just lets you do what you want. You know, you're, it's like your joints, everything's supple, everything's good to go. So I was able to do that. You know, I was just able to go in and lift the heaviest weight without a warm up. Um, I'm talking about at the beginning, going without a warm up and just smash my body to bits. And the recovery rate was just ama amazing, you know? So um, that was that was fun, that was good. But as you get older, um, and, and the, thing, the funny thing is, older guys will always tell you this. And when they tell you this, you're probably, as a young guy, you're like, yeah, whatever, man, you know? Like, you're like, yeah, cool, oh, sure, sure. But the truth is, when you, when you get to your 30s, uh, it's gonna be different, man. You know, and, but I'm talking about someone that's been training for as long as me, 21 years. You know, some of you guys might not have been training that long. So um, who knows what it will be like, uh, you know. But all I'm saying is that today in the gym, I just ha like, and over the last few months, I would say, I've just had this realization that I can't friggin' smash my body like I used to. You know, I want to, and mentally I'm still a beast and I'm still gonna, gonna go ham, but I have to consider everything much more you know my warm-ups are a lot more i'm warming up much more before i i attack the heavy weights and um you know i'm just look i'm thinking about my body as, as i train you know um it, whereas before i would just go crazy i would literally go crazy i wasn't worried about any injuries or anything but you know um age is, is a factor but let's not get it twisted i'm still a beast and i'm still going to be smashing my work as i smashed it today um but it was just as i was doing it there's always this little niggling feeling in my head should you go for that should you go up in this weight is it worth it do you actually need it you know um and i would say going beast mode over the years has been worth it of course it has it's, it's the physique that you see for me is because of all the crazy workouts that i did all the extra effort that i did and just going beast mode on my workouts that's that's what built the physique so is it worth it hell yes but at this stage that i'm at now 21 years in do I still need to go crazy? No, I wouldn't say crazy, crazy. I'm still gonna push myself. I'm still gonna give it everything, but I am gonna be a little bit more chilled out. A um, little bit, just a little bit. You won't notice it, but I, I will. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, just thought I'd give you guys that feedback. So um, 21 years and still going strong, still consistent, still loving it. Make sure that when you start this journey, you keep doing it. It's amazing, the things that you can do for your life, the things that you're gonna learn from it, they benefit you in so many ways. You know, even your mindset, just the fact that you know that being consistent at something, at something has just this, pays huge dividends, it really does. So make sure that um, when you start this journey, you're in for the long haul, like I am. Let's do this, peace out.